If you don't have your hope, your faith, your trust in Jesus Christ, um, in the salvation that God has provided, uh, then you are, it's all for naught. It, it, it don't matter, right? It don't, I don't care how prepared you are. I don't care how organic, non-GMO-ish type food you try to eat. You're still going to stand before God one of these days. And it's either going to be enter in that good and faithful servant, or it's going to be depart from me, for I never knew you, and a lake of fire that never stops to burn. I once was lost, oh, but now I am found, was blind, but now I see. Welcome, everybody, to uh, Leaving Egypt on Rumble or Built on Faith on Homestead, depending on which platform you are watching this on. We want to thank you guys for all of your support. My name is Justin. I am married to my wonderful, beautiful wife, Melissa. We have three children. We live in a tiny house. We do the best we can to serve the Lord, and we do the best we can to live as self-sustainable as possible. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about whether or not they are using um, mRNA as a delivery system with meat, right? With beef cattle in particular. Um, this video is based off of several comments that come up on a different video we made uh, talking about how they're trying to use or going to try to use or potentially trying to develop, let me put it, say it that way, trying to develop um, mRNA technology to be used as a, uh, using lettuce and spinach and all those things as a delivery system for that technology. Um, and I had several questions, several people asking whether or not they're going to try to use meat for those things, which I thought was an interesting question. So I decided to spend some time looking into it. Uh, and so uh, while spending that time looking into it, um, this is what I kind of found. I will show you these articles right now. Was blind by now. Now, that being said, uh, I do want to say, uh, depending on where I crop those um, screenshots, uh, is what you guys will see on my phone. I'm not trying to hide anything. I had somebody suggest that I was hiding the websites uh, by cropping these uh, deals and whatever. I'm just trying to crop them to show the most relevant information. I'm not trying to hide anything. I will do the best I can to link those articles into the description box down below, along with my Rumble channel, because apparently people are having trouble finding that, and I've heard this uh, before. And so uh, I will, and I even know my mom tried to share our Rumble link on the comments, and uh, I don't know what happened. But anyhow, um, apparently it just disappeared after it was up there for a little while, which these things happen from time to time. Uh, it's technology, I guess, right? Right? Just technology messing up. Surely that's what it is. Anyhow, so, um, what you'll find in those articles is yes, they are using, uh, mRNA technology, um, or, or wanting to use it or trying to develop it for cattle. Um, it does not seem as though it is supposed to be necessarily a delivery system, but rather uh, it is to cure a couple of common diseases within cattle, whether that be beef cattle, dairy cattle, just cattle in general. And so, you do your own homework on whether or not that'll be a delivery system, right? Um, but that is what it what, what they're seeming to try to develop these mRNA uh, things for the cattle as well. And so, if you are a concerned individual that says, "Man, I don't really, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want to eat meat that has been." Um, Done. I don't, I don't want to even meet that that has been done too. And you say, why don't you just say it? Well, because YouTube will give me another strike. We're still um, in strike probation, maybe is the way to say it, on YouTube uh, from a previous strike I had talking about similar things. So I'm trying the best I can to talk around that. But anyhow, um, what do we do, right? Well, first of all, if you don't have your hope, your faith, your trust in Jesus Christ, um, and the salvation that God has provided, uh, then you are, it's all for naught. It, it, it don't matter, right? It don't, I don't care how prepared you are. I don't care how organic, non-GMO-ish type food you try to eat. You're still going to stand before God one of these days. And it's either going to be enter in that good and faithful servant, or it's going to be depart from me, for I never knew you, and a lake of fire that never stops to burn. So, Truly, that decision is up to you, according to the scripture, right? You have choice in this matter. So, if if you don't know the Lord, ain't none of this going to matter anyhow. But I do want to say this. Um, 
Let's say that you are. Let's say that you are saved, born again, child of God. You just don't necessarily, you want to limit as much as you possibly can these things because it's going to be hard to completely avoid it, but you know, I want to limit it to the best of my ability, right? So what are some ways that you can do that? Well, potentially if you're in a situation where you can, you just, you grow your own garden and stuff, right? Um, save your own seeds back, buy heirloom seeds that you can save back and uh, replant and actually get good produce back. Or you um, you have your own animals, your own cattle, your own chickens, your own rabbits, all those kinds of things, your own quail, uh, guineas, whatever it is you can raise to eat, then you do it yourself and you know what they're eating and what they're not eating, what you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with. Um, but I would say a vast majority of people aren't in a situation where they can do that, and I understand that. And so then what are some other options that you may have? Well, one potential option is maybe you sponsor a local farmer, right? Maybe you um, give them some sort of cash. Maybe you give them um, something like that, right, uh, to supplement, to help them on their farm, and then they reimburse you by giving you some meat or eggs or milk or whatever it may be, right? Or maybe... Um, you go and you just help them, right? Maybe you go and help them build fence or you help them cut wood or you help them do something, right? Uh, and with that help, rather than giving you money back, they give you good quality meat, eggs, dairy products, those kinds of things, vegetables, whatever it may be. Maybe you live in a place where you've got a small yard and you can contact your landlord and maybe your landlord will let you raise some meat rabbits. Maybe he'll let you raise a garden. Maybe he'll let you um, have some animals, some chickens, whatever, right? Um, maybe you have a family member that um, is in some sort of agriculture type work and maybe you can um, work out something with them, some sort of trade, some sort of cash, all those kinds of things. Now, I understand cash is probably a short-term system, and I get that, because we seem to be running headlong into a cashless society, um, which seems to um, just be where we're headed regardless, right? However, for now, for the time being, um, maybe you can do something like that. Or just start developing relationships the best you can, community and working together, loving one another and caring for one another and helping each other out. Um, if you do that, uh, then you can begin to think about and try uh, to separate, if you will, uh, from uh, the societal norms and begin to have good, quality, healthful food for you and your family to eat, right? It is a thought process. It is an attempt. It is a trying to do something. And you say, well, it's all impossible and there's no way that we can get away from all of it. And I would say, you're probably right. There's no way we can get away from all of it. However, we can do the best we can to limit those things. Let me put it this way. If you had only two options and one option was to just have a little bit of poison or one option was to have a whole bunch of poison you would probably go i'm gonna take my chances with a little bit right i'm gonna do the best that i can and obviously yes uh something that come up a lot in the comments you need to pray over your food and all those kinds of things you absolutely do but you also don't drink poison on purpose right um <coughs> you, you don't stick your hand in the snake's mouth and say well, okay go ahead and bite me and i'm gonna be just fine you don't tempt god you trust in God. There's two different things, right? So there are at least a few options you can start to do, right? No matter how minuscule, no matter how little it seems now, just to start, just to get started. We, this process that me and my wife has been on has been a several, several, several year process, and we're still not where we would want to be, right? We've still got a lot of work to do, but it is a process and it is moving is just slow not as fast as i would like for it to right however it doesn't mean you can't do anything right um begin to try to pull yourself together and just do what you can right uh develop those relationships in that community guys we appreciate you guys watching we will catch you on the next video